Hello friends! Welcome to our Lake Point Kids Online Family Experience. I'm Miss Rachel and I'm glad you're here. When I arrived this morning, there was a surprise waiting for me. This gift here. Do you know anything about it? No? Hmm. Well, maybe there's a clue inside. I'm going to open it. <gasps> Look friends! Candy canes! Who here likes candy canes? Oh, they're one of my very favorite Christmas treats. And there's something else in here, too. Oh, it's a book! And there's a note attached to it. Let's see what it says. Dear Ms. Rachel, here's a little something I thought you might like to share with our preschool JKSK friends. I miss you all. Love, Shannon. Oh, it's from Shannon. How sweet! Look at this, it's a book. J is for Jesus, the sweetest story ever told. And look at the candy cane on the cover, friends. Who would have thought that Jesus has anything to do with candy canes? Would you like to hear the story and find out? All right, here we go. One snowy day in the middle of town, families gathered from miles around. For something new was at the candy store, something that no one had seen before. The candy maker was eager to share his holiday treat with everyone there. He held up a red and white peppermint stick. The children all wanted to give it a lick. I made this candy, he explained that day. I shaped it to look like the letter J. J is for Jesus, God's son sent to earth and Christmas is when we remember his birth. But when I turn the candy around to make the letter go upside down, it looks like a staff that the shepherds used. They were the first to hear the good news. As the shepherds were watching their sheep that night, the sky was filled with heavenly light. Angels appeared and started to sing, glory to God for our newborn King. And there in the town where Jesus was born, the shepherds found him all cozy and warm. Their hearts were filled with wonder and joy as they knelt beside the baby boy. I added the stripes to remember the day that Jesus washed all our sins away. He died on the cross, his blood was shed. That's why the stripes are bold and red. The white on the candy is there to show that when we're forgiven, we're white as the snow. Jesus was born to save us from sin, to make us holy and clean within. I wanted to share this story with you so Jesus can be your savior too. Please tell this story to everyone and give thanks to God for the gift of his son. What a great story. Thanks for reading along with me, friends. I think I'm going to enjoy my candy cane right now. So while I do that, why don't you see what's happening with Ollie and our friends at the clubhouse today?
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. friends, welcome to the Christmas Clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm just so excited to see you today. Today has been all about candy canes for me. First, I put up my new candy cane decoration in the Clubhouse. Doesn't that look cool? Then, I made candy cane Christmas cookies to give to some of my friends in the neighborhood. They're gonna be so happy. Do you like Christmas surprises? Me too! I just have to finish putting these cookies in this last box, and then I'll be ready to share them. I can't wait to see Uncle Bob's face when he sees the cookies. Why, thank you, Manny. And I bet my friend Annika will be so happy. Candy canes are my favorite! And my neighbor, Mr. Gonzalez, will be so surprised. Mr. Gonzalez doesn't say much, but he loves cookies. I can't wait to share these with everyone. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Planning Christmas surprises, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I was just finishing up putting my candy cane cookies in these boxes to share with my neighbors. Sharing at Christmas is a great thing to do. I have a story about others who share, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hi, everyone. It's almost Christmas. Who's excited? I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out my newest Christmas treats. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> They're sheep with candy canes on the wrappers. These remind me of today's part of the true story of Christmas. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Oh, look! See, there's the sheep in the field being watched by their shepherds. What sound do sheep make? Ba, ba. Very good sheep! Okay, you can stop now because I've got something special to tell you. These guys don't know it yet, but on this very night not too far away, Jesus, God's son, was born! Let's do an excited whisper dance. Ready? Yay! <laughs> well, God is about to make a big announcement right out here in this field, and these guys are going to be so surprised. Watch this. <gasps> an angel appeared in the sky! The shepherds were so surprised, and the angel said, a special baby has been born. He's God's son. Go find him in the manger. Suddenly, the whole sky filled with angels. They were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest. Let's pretend we're angels too. Hold out your pretend angel wings and let's say, glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Great, again, now louder. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> Great job. Okay, everyone put their angel wings down. Everyone was excited about Jesus being born because Jesus is God's son. <laughs> when the angels left the shepherds, they had to remember what the angels told them to do. Do you guys remember? Where did the angels tell the shepherds to go? <gasps> to see baby Jesus in the manger. <laughs> and once they saw him, they knew they needed to go tell 
everyone that Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone who heard the good news that Jesus had been born was amazed. They knew Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. The angels and shepherds told others about Jesus, and we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I love that story. The shepherds were so excited to tell everybody that Jesus was born. They knew it was a big deal and wanted everyone to know about Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! You know what? This looks just like the shepherd's hook in the story. I'm gonna make even more candy cane cookies to share with my neighbors. And I'm gonna tell them all about Jesus, just like the shepherds did when I delivered the cookies. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. shepherds watching their sheep one night when suddenly a beautiful angel appeared in the sky telling them to go find the special baby who had been born God's son Jesus then more angels came and started singing glory to God after the angels left the shepherds found baby Jesus and worshiped him and then they hurried off to tell others the good news that Jesus had been born and that Jesus was God's son Friends, that news is still good news today, too. God sent Jesus to the earth because he loves us so much. It's news so good, you'll want to share it with others. Today, I want you to make a candy cane to help you remember today's story. You can use any materials you want. You could use markers or crayons, red and white colored paper, red and white felt, finger paints, Play-Doh, cookie dough, twisted pipe cleaners, sidewalk chalk, beads and wire, anything you can think of. And if possible, hang your candy cane on your Christmas tree. This month we have a weekly prize for one lucky family, a gift card to Timmy's. All you need to do for a chance to win is take a picture of your child holding their candy cane. Please share your picture with me on our Lake Point Kids Facebook page or email to me at rachel at lakepoint.church. Parents, please take a moment right now to fill out the online connection card available on the Lake Point app. It's like our guest book, letting us know who is watching and helping us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So kids, while your parents do that, why don't you pretend to be a shepherd taking care of your sheep? Three, two, one.
As well, feel free to enjoy our earlier Family Experience episodes on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the Family Resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Remember, Jesus is God's Son and His gift to us.